The touch screen of this iPhone 6 Plus is not working and I received the phone from another shop. So we will be working on this phone today. I had to disconnect everything to get access to the motherboard. First, I had to, to test the connector and make sure that everything was okay. So this type of problem, I needed to test the dialed reading of each pin of the touch screen connector. As you can see, what I'm doing right here, it's very important to know if each pin right here is given the diode reading that it was supposed to be given. So I tested and everything seemed okay, which means that, yeah, everything is okay right here. So I had to go to the to the this, uh, touch screen IC. As you can see, I'm testing the diode reading of the components beside the, the, the touch screen IC and everything seemed okay, which means that, yeah, the, the problem is actually coming from the IC because the, it shows that there is no open circuit because I'm testing for open circuits right here. That's what I mean by diode reading. If the if you don't get a diode reading, means that there is an open circuit. So what I had to do right here, I had to remove the chip. I had to remove the chip. As you can see what I'm doing right here. If you want my course, that's my WhatsApp number right there. I have an Android course starting from the basic level of troubleshooting which you can also apply on iPhone to troubleshoot iPhones like I am doing right here. So the course is very good. If you want to learn everything step by step, then you are good to go. So as you can see, we have a lot of pins right here that I peeled up, but you don't have to worry about anything. This pin that I'm working on right here is the only important pin in which I need to jump out. This one that I scraped right here, there is no problem with that. So I have to jump out only this one where the other pins that are peeled off right there, they are not connected anywhere, you understand. So I had to jump out that little wire, then apply the glue, make sure to cover this little part that I scraped right here. So after applying the glue, then as you can see, I'm making the cable visible because I want to use this as a solder point that peeled off, right? So that sounds good. So this board is a different board, a scrap board in which I want to remove the touch IC from this another iPhone 6 Plus that is not working. So I had to swap the IC from this motherboard right here. So you can see I'm cleaning the IC right here. So after cleaning, I have to reboil, make the solder balls using the universal stencil. As you can see what I'm doing right here. Okay, great. So after making the solder bolts, I had to make sure that I carefully remove it from the stencil. As you can see right here, then clean everything, make sure that uh, everything is clean. As you can see, the solder bolts are looking good, which means that they are ready right here. And I will just have to mount the, the chip into this mobile phone right here. So we are actually doing a swap right here. As you can see, what I did, I just have to position it well, then hit it, hit it a little bit so that it can start uh, melting off. When it start melting off, I that's when I will add the uh, sol uh, solding paste right there. As you can see what I'm doing. So that's all that I have to do. So everything seems good right here. I have to. To clean everything because i need to to test the dial reading of this chip after mounting it to see if uh, every pin is connected so that's what i'm doing right here and the, the dial reading so yeah, okay everything seemed okay so i had to couple the phone clean everything couple the phone and uh, yeah everything is working right here